welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 261. It's the Tier 10 Soviet SPG. This one's located on the south spawn of Steps and it's under the command of Photo Bomber of Fun 2. And I think we have seen this RT before in action. Well, it's the RT made from the IS-7 hull. So it's basically a heavy tank RT. Yes, don't ram it because you will come off worse if you uh, if you do. And um, well, off we go. 62 tons in weight it was supposed to be. Never actually got built, but they did propose it and they were looking into it. The uh, Object 261 had three different varieties. The 2611, which had a 152mm gun, which was closed. Uh, 2612, which had an open 152mm gun like this one. And then, of course, the 2613, which is the one you're looking at, which has got an 18 centimeter howitzer instead of a 152. Okay. It's kind of like it. If the 152mm had been fitted, it would have been like uh, the SU 8, but on steroids. Okay. Ready to go. 263. Of course, that's the tank destroyer version of the same vehicle because that was made from the IS-7 as well, or was going to be made from the IS-7. Of course, the IS-7 not, never got built, and that's the reason why there's no 261s or 263s. Standard reload for this RT, 30.68 seconds, and fun photobombs got it down to 25.14, so he shaved off 5 seconds. Okay, waiting for a target, looking round... Hmm. Well, supposedly, there should be a large number of enemy tanks in that general area. And the only one we spotted so far, apart from 263, is this M451. And that was a very good shot because it's very difficult to get the narrow angle that you need in order to get the shell over the ridgeline into the side of the tank. Also, stunning that M451 deters him from trying to take action. Oh! Now, that's interesting, because that tells us that the enemy RT is probably in B1 or B2 at the very uh, at the very least, because the shell came in from that angle. Uh, it could be in D1, for that matter. But he knows where we are, so we're going to have to keep moving in order to avoid counter battery. Okay, we did get some damage and some splash off that one. It's not showing, actually. I wonder why it's not showing. Maybe we didn't get it. It was somebody else's damage. Could be that that was the case. Well, the enemy RT is now firing at our tanks. So he's going to go after the 263. Rounds out. Direct hit right on the money. That's exactly the sort of information you need to know. But you'd miss if you uh, didn't look when you fired. Yes, I have been going on a lot about that a lot, but it's very important information to know. If you've hit an enemy tank, then you need to know that, yes, it's possibly stunned, or that you definitely got a hit on them. Rounds out. Oh, that was another really good one. He angled the shell. It went over the ridgeline, right into the side of the 51, and he went down immediately afterwards to the Wizzy 113 uh, GFT. And he keeps changing position now to avoid the enemy RT getting a shot. There's two enemy RTs, a GWE 100 and an Object 261. Now, we're not seeing any uh, sh more shells coming our direction, but that may be down to what's actually going on on the other side of the battlefield. And he did get a critical hit on the 257 over on the other side. Changing position again to avoid counter battery. Now, these shells are capable of doing 800 alpha, penetrating 45 millimeters of armor with a 9.5 meters burst radius. Okay, there's a whole bunch of enemy tanks there that he needs to hit. You can see where he hit the 257 now, the mark showing on the side of the vehicle. Okay, can do it again. Might hit both of them at the same time. Oh, the 257's tracked. 
When you track a vehicle, obviously, again, you're going to pick up damage assist because a tracked vehicle is easier to hit for your teammates. Likewise, it's a very good idea to mark the targets you are going for so that your teammates will track them for you. And then once they're tracked, they uh, become uh, they get the damage assist when you strike them. Lots of action going on over here. It's pretty comprehensive. Now he's dialing in. Almost ready. Ready. Rounds out. Oh, perfect. He nukes that 257 for 403 hit points. Very good shot. Right on the money. Again, difficult to get shot to go over the ridge line into the target, but he did it perfectly. Some people overcorrect and it hits the ridge line as it goes in. Oh, and there's the enemy RT. He's been spotted by our Panzer Wagon, who's right up there. Rounds out. And unfortunately, you see the Panzer Wagon rammed the 261 and died in the process. Because, of course, he's a light tank and the 261's a heavy tank. Arty, but he did get some stun assist off that one or did he not showing any actually funnily enough he did get 187 hit points of damage though rounds out again and he's got him this time he didn't move away after he was hit he stayed there and you shouldn't do that you should move away you know you've been spotted you must depart the area and it was the 261 that was firing at us earlier because he's in exactly the same position we're two up on the enemy now. We're starting to harass the enemy on this side, ganging up on them. No shot on the Cobra, but we might have a shot on the 261 who's, or the Type 61 who's coming in rather rapidly, dialing in ahead of track. Rounds out. Perfect shot. 336. Nailed him. Now, can we get a shot on the Cobra? Dialing in as rapidly and reloading as fast as we can. The 61's gone down. Now, work out where the Cobra is going. Aim ahead of his path. And then hit the... When he gets into... That's it. Another perfect shot. Aimed ahead of his path. Let the shell go into the target as he drove through it. So much easier that way. The tortoise is following that guy. I suspect that the Cobra is in reload. We've now got a T-100, but he's, no, he's going back to the Cobra. Okay, Cobra's stationary for a moment, but he drives out of the air. He's trying to get away from the tortoise more than anything, I think. Yes, he's starting to unload his shells, and that M451 didn't last very long. The Cobra's going to come out there. He fires, thinking he's actually going to go through the point, but he didn't. But we can reload the tortoise. He's now trapped between two tanks. And the Cobra did take damage from the Tortoise. But the Tortoise has been wiped out. We're one tank up on the enemy. We were three tanks up. But unfortunately, that Cobra, working in combination with the T-100LT, managed to escape getting wiped out. Now, the advantage is that we've got two RT on our team. Our fellow RT is the T92 HMC. He's over in the east corner of the map. So we're playing to our strengths at the moment. The Leopard prototype's going to the hill to, uh, to get up there to shoot at the enemy when they come towards our cap. Meanwhile, Photobomb is actually, at this moment, trying to help the Manticores up in the north. He's spotting for us. Okay, we've got a Kunstpanzer just attacked by the T-92. Rounds out. That was very close to the point where we saw the Kunstpanzer. He probably moved away after the shot. Now, it does make sense, actually, to be over in this corner because then we've got the support of our teammates. Manticore's coming back. Still trying to spot for us though. Now, this is a good dip to, to be in. Right up against the edge of the map. That's perfect. We've got bushes covering both sides. Manticore's up ahead to say where the guys are. 
leopard prototype covering the cap. Trouble is, we've only got one stun shell left in the game. He's aiming ahead of the uh, Manticore's, way ahead of the Manticore's views. T100 LT spotted near the cap, just got hit by the leopard. Just took a round from the leopard. Now we're trying to track him as he's going past. Oh, is he going to go up the dip? Well, that was the T92 trying. Oh, yes, he got him. He blind killed the T100 LT, and now there's only two enemies left, the Cobra and the Kunzpanzer. The Cobra is badly wounded. The Kunzpanzer's got about half his health or a third of his health left. And the Manticore... Oh! The Kunzpanzer's appeared. We're still in reload, but not, not for long. We can't shoot from this angle. We'd have to move out. But that Kunzpanzer is on his last legs, and he's gone! The Manticore got him from a long way away with a 105mm. And now the T92's decided he's going to move forward. Yep, I think they've decided that uh, they need to get into a better position to help the uh, Leopard. The Cobra has been spotted. Well, he didn't take a hit from the T-92 there, but the Manticore is fighting it out with him. And remember, the, the Cobra's got four shot autoloader. Oh, but the Manticore sees him off! And that wins the game! Well, that was another interesting battle from Photobomber in the Object 261. He managed to get a first-class tanker out of that one, as well as a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 13. And he got a gauze medal as well for doing more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points of his own vehicle, as well as a win eight of 4,556, which is Super Unicum standard. Let's have a look at the team score and see what he did. Well, he did actually, funnily enough, get the highest damage in the game, but he didn't get 20% of the enemy hit pool, and that's why he ended up not getting the high caliber as well. 3,728 was the highest damage. The second highest damage was the Wizzy 113 GFT, got 3,702. And the third highest damage was the 60 TP on the enemy team with 3,649 hit points. When it came to kills, he actually shared second spot because the Manticore managed to get four kills in that game. He got a scout medal. Also, four kills went to the T100 LT. That was killed by Photobomber. And three kills went to Photobomber in third place. You could say it's in third place with joint second. And because uh, these guys joined first. And I suppose we might say the AMX M451 got two kills. So did the Type 61 and the Cobra on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, he's actually in third place because the Manticore managed 1,113 by virtue of the fact that he did a lot of spotting in that game. You can see that coming up now. 2,471 hit points of spotting assists in the game. And of course, that Scout medal for spotting at least nine enemy vehicles during the game. High win eight as well, 5,658, which shows that he was a very active Manticore. And of course, it's difficult to play the Manticore actively because it's very long reload and also not much in the way of armor. Uh, and of course, well, it is fast. It, it can move about quickly. So well done to that Manticore player for getting the highest base XP. He's the only player to get over 1,000. With a little prototype getting 965, and then Photobomb picking up 912, and the next highest is only 792. So really, it's these three guys who are actually doing most of the lifting on this game. 15 shots fired. Very good amount of uh, shells fired. Of course, the Object 261 only carries 20 rounds of ammunition. Again, it's a short amount of ammunition. Should be carrying more because it is a heavy tank. Uh, but he only got 15 rounds uh, out. But that's good. That's a nice amount. Did a useful amount of damage. Nine direct hits. Two penetrating shots. Well, let's have a look and see which ones did he actually penetrate in the game. T100? No, funnily enough, that was a splash kill towards the end of the game. The Object 261, he got a direct hit and wiped that guy out. And let's have a look. Did he get the 26? No. 
I'm looking at these. Oh, there you go. It's the Object 263. He managed to get a penetrating shot on that guy. And 1,022 hit points. That was the guy who was hiding behind the rock. And he putting he was putting the shells in blind and hitting them. And he eventually got one penetrating shot on the guy. So very, very well done on that. He also got 13 splashes. Damage of 3,728. All of it at more than 300 meters. He did receive a hit by way of splash. The enemy to Object 261 tried to nail him, but missed and just got some stun instead. Eight enemy vehicles were damaged. Three were killed. 1,385 hit points of stun assist off 12 stuns. On a premium count, he actually earned a profit. He would have earned a profit on a free-to-play account as well. 74,466 credits to take away. And he got seven bonds for this being tier 10. And 4,104 experience points as well because he got a bonus... Uh, personal reserve bonus on that one and he actually got a mission completion bonus but it was free xp i'm afraid so yeah that doesn't really count towards xp but i suppose well it does count in a way but it was a good game by photo bomber interesting game he couldn't get that last shot on the cobra would have been fun if he did but the manticore was just too active and too insistent on taking that last kill and that takes some doing as well because that cobra was probably fully loaded and the Manticore still went in there with his long reload and finished off the Cobra. So, yes, that must have taken some nerve for him. But uh, nice work by Photobomber to get the highest damage in the game. Shame that we missed out on getting the high caliber as well. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.